Hey, good morning everyone. Back to some cold weather. Back to some flannels. That's what it's like here down south. I got to uh, oh, show my friend Jim, um, chili expat family. This is his YouTube channel name. Uh, I'll put a link in the description below. Um, how to hook up the communications on these uh, MPP Solar ink inverters. So in the first unit, okay, you see it there, there's dumbing plugged in, just a parallel board at the back, and in the, this unit here, there's the con cables all there. Alright, so what we've got, so this first unit is the master, okay. The second unit, SL, is the slave. Okay. And it's this little, and of course the, both the classics are plugged in. The next unit I got that goes there will be plugged in. Um, just everything is plugged into the back of that. And from there, there's a little wireless antennas there. They just wirelessly connect down to the house. <coughs> okay. Pretty simple stuff, really. Um, at the moment, I've got half of my solar on my house. That's just here, and two, two big strings coming down. Uh, no, I'm not even using it. I don't really need it in, in summer even on a day like today um, because they're all turned off, they're dead all those cables but uh, when I get the next unit for testing I'll plug all that solar into that and uh, test it I think I'm running the house on about 6 kilowatts right now of solar all the rest is just unplugged waiting for the new unit all right Jim I hope that helps you mate so um, my wife's vacuuming and everything out there so I've had to show, shut this um, computer room door so it might be a bit reverby in here I can't help that anyway Jim um, as you can see now I've only got this is the um, remote part of the operating system that we use now as you can see in the shed there I showed you I only had one unit uh, plugged in but when we go to inverters all right, and show details you can see that one unit controls both so um, if we go that's an overall summary that one there overall summary because there's no grid volts and the generator's not going so and the units are taking 36 amps thereabouts out of the battery but the Midnight Classic sale have got a positive 36 amps going into the batteries so that means I've got over 70 amps coming off my solar panels on this cloudy day even and I've got probably just a I've had a peak of 5,700, so I've got about 6,000 watts up on the roof right now. Um, and that would have been a cloud edge effect getting onto those. You can see unit one. Okay, solar volts 103. Um, it's, there's the battery volts. It's taken 17 amps out. And unit two, two of two, it's solar volts for 100. Okay, now neither of those units uh, have got any power going into the batteries um, right now, which 
It is a bit strange. I think it's because they're, they're, they're actually powering the the, the house. I, I'm, not, I'm not sure what's going on there. But um, you can still see, even with one cable in, one of one, two of two. So it all, all still works as intended. It's nice. Yeah, I think the batteries are 96%. I've got these turned to shut off because I like the Midnight Classics to do all my finishing work. Um, so there you go, mate. You don't even need to have you don't need to have both those cables plugged in. The master controls the slave. If we go back into the shed real quick, there we go. Um, you can see here. Okay, I can go in here into settings, click on that, and wait for this to propagate. It takes a while. Uh, but when it comes on here, then I can change all the settings on those units. Um, there we go there. So that's what it's set at first. Now because my units are off grid, I've got it, got it set at utility first. So if I start the generator, then the, the generator is acts as a utility of course. 